Hey, what is up, folks? Back here, another episode. Fish meat for dinner. We finally got some solid ice to work with here in central Wisconsin. And we're gonna see if we can get some panfish today. Um, we're on a lake that I've been on quite a bit called Lake Napawan. And uh, I kayaked it and whatnot, so let's see if we can't get something to bite. How deep is it there? How deep is it there? Three and a half. Really? I'm gonna go deep. Chisel it with this. Let's bust a hole with this. We got a good probably five inches of ice. And uh, I've ice fished this lake for a year now. It's always been good to me, so. There's a uh, perch, walleye, crappie, bluegill, and uh, there's a few northerns, not a lot though. Pretty, pretty scarce for that type of stuff, so. We're gonna head out. There's also really good bass in here, so. We're gonna head out, see if we can't make something happen. I'm gonna go right here for now. It's probably gonna be around 14 feet deep here, I'm guessing. Early ice, you don't really even need an auger. You can use your spud, chop it up. It's probably louder, but I'm in deep water, so it doesn't really matter too much. And this is real thick shit. Look at how thick this is. I haven't even hit any water yet. It's pretty thick ice. Ourselves a hole clear down. Hopefully, he left me an ice scooper. Yes, he did. Let me get set up. Alrighty, we got ourselves a hole. Slap this buddy down. See how deep she is. I'd probably say this is the most important thing to have when ice fishing. It's electronics, these things. I don't know what I'd do without it. Oh boy, we're in 16 feet of water. So, that's what's up. See if we can't get anything to come out of the depths today. Let's start the rods. I'm gonna be rocking this little blue tungsten jig with a wax worm on it. 
gloves are. Finger gloves are nice, but if you can get really thin gloves. Something to just keep like a majority of your hand warm, but allow you to still do stuff. That's what we're using there. So get that down there. Start catching us some fish so we can eat it up at our dorm room this weekend. Fish on. Fish on. Little bluegill. He swallowed it good too. First fish of the day. See if we can't get a few more. I was out of 16 feet of water, little buddy was down there. There we go. Let's see if we can't get a little bit bigger one now. He came right up off of that bottom there. Let me check it out. He didn't hesitate to bite that either. He came right up to it, I let it, let it just sit there for a minute. BAM! Instantly. So. See if we can't get his uh, cousin, Mr. Big Old Crappie, now to eat. Alright, I just caught another fish here. We got a dead stick over there. We just came back over this hole. Got that little fella. See if we can uh, make an upgrade. I'm gonna drop it down there quick, see if I can't get some quickly. But I think I'm gonna try to do some plastics now. Since uh, this wax worm isn't that big for those crappies down there. So, we'll just see if they'll bite it though. So I saw some other marks while I was getting that fish. I'm guessing these are all little bluegills. Because they're all just kind of coming and checking it out slowly. Oh, here comes something big. Got him. This might be a better fish. Fighting like a bluegill. Oh, crappie. Nice one. Nice crappie. Heck yeah. Nice crappie, that's a good eater right there. Hey dad! Dad! Oh, nice crappie. Let's get him in my new little bait deal here.
they won't shoot me down 